Now that we know some of the basics of fonts and coloring them on the web and how to use some containers, let's step this up. Over here, please. Let's dive in. We ended here, and this is a mess. Oh my god, I can't even believe I told you to do this. But I just wanted to show you the power of the span and the class. Let's delete this all, and we're back to where we were. Let's start by adding a span with a rainbow class to our word amazing. In this rainbow class, we will add a background, similar to that gradient we used in the background of our first website. And now we've got this really nice rainbow gradient. Where's the red? Okay, now we've got this really nice rainbow gradient. I don't know where that red was. This is another cool thing you can do with text. But if we want to make the text rainbow, we're going to use two properties, background clip and text fill color. This dash webkit prefix just means it's kind of an early feature. Here people are always setting trends, so it's only fitting that we're to use these. Now we'll save this, and what this is going to, well, I'll just let you see for yourself. This is a much nicer rainbow. We've got a full gradient, really popping in the colors, yes. And so much less work to do that. So what's happening here is they're going to clip the background and then do the fix fill color and yada, yada, yada. And you know what? You don't have to understand how this works. I barely understand how this works. You know what I Googled? How to make rainbow text HTML. And I figured it out. I saw this great tutorial. Um, I read through it. I'll put the link below. Programming is a very collaborative space. There are so many people who ask questions, and so many people have done what you're trying to do before. Don't feel like you need to understand everything. If you want to do something cool, go for it. See who's done it before and try it out yourself. We've made some of our text a rainbow, but can we take it even farther? I want to make analytical in glitter. We'll give it a class called glitter, and we could call these classes anything. We're just going to use a helpful name, so glitter because we're going to make glittery rainbow because it's a rainbow. Duh. We'll add a new class for glitter. We're going to copy. Okay, we got the rainbow. You know, we've seen it before. Next. And instead of this gradient, we're going to type URL, parentheses, and then in quotes, and we can paste in an image URL. So let's see what happens. Ah! Stunning! This looks so cute. All you have to do is you can go to Giphy and pull up an image you want to use and paste that in. I searched for glitter, copy link, and then you're going to take the GIF. You're going to take the GIF link. GIF, GIF, whatever. It's not that serious. And you have your new background. The possibilities with this are so endless. In the description, I'll put an animated text that I try out on my own. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson series. Thanks for watching. And subscribe below, ring the bell, you know the deal. Oh, likes, likes too. Thank you. Bye.